All right, welcome back. Before the break, we were in awe of what was created today for our bridal shower theme. Yeah, we have a couple of them still here. And Sherry from Sherry Zaman from Perfectly Planned by Sherry is back with us to help us create part of this amazing floral tea display, including this little cup. So we're just going to make a smaller version, which okay. is just this piece, which is also an illusion piece with these teacup items. So let me show you what we have. Uh, already got started a little bit here. So these are so cute. Too, by the yeah, way. it's just a cute little tea set, and um, I just want to point out I added um, a washer on the bottom just to I give it a little more weight. Okay, oh, okay so I'm going to distribute the material so everybody gets a spoon. A bent spoon. A bent spoon. So it started out as a straight spoon. I just already gave it a little bend, but that's really important. Okay. And then some of your other materials are glue, glue, glue dots. dots. So my favorite gorilla glue dots. Oh. So we all get a sheet of those, and I don't. Know that I knew this existed. I'm, They're so amazing. So I use it for so many things. So I'll show you how we use them. I'm also giving you a Gorilla Glue mounting putty, and this is going to okay. be important as well. Okay. Okay. Right. So the way we're going to start is uh, we are going to we can do this in a few different uh, orders here, but we're going to start with some of our mounting putty and just peel it off the backing. Okay. And we're going to make. A little ball out of it. So take, okay. take maybe three strips, oh, three. and I have some extra I took them all. because you want to. Well, you, we're <laughs> going to reserve some, but I do have some extra. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start here. We made a little ball out of it, and okay. it gets sticky. You can feel how sticky it is, it's which is why sticky. I like this stuff. Okay. So made a little ball and stuck it on. So that's the first thing. Okay. Make sure it's sticking and okay. not coming off. Exactly. So then the next thing is we are going to stick our spoon. Uh -huh. In our teacup. Okay. okay. So that's what the glue dots are for. Okay. And, you know, you, I advise putting a lot of dots on the back of it, and you have to play with it. You can probably even go like that. And oh, go that's smart. Faster. Yeah. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I can't get anything. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, right, I exactly. One. That's why oh, I said I sometimes one. it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you want to put a lot on. They really are sticky, though, once we get to it. <laughs> um, finding that out. Right. I'm having <laughs> troubles. So this is our speed crafting, as we always I know. Call it. We love speed right? crafting. Right? So Sherry. we have to see how you know quickly we can actually achieve this uh, finished product. But I have a lot on here. And depending on the size of your spoon and you know what the angle of the bend is will vary what uh, where it's going to be placed next. So I'll give you an idea. Um, sometimes you have to play with it and add more glue dots, which is why you have a whole sheet. Okay. So we started here, and then the next thing is I'm actually going to take my spoon now that it has the sticky glue dots mm -hmm. on it and stick it in there. Right. So okay. if you have enough of them, oh, it I should it, stick I and then push it, it down. It. So you have a little it. bit of angle to it. Okay. So then the next part is we are going to stick it into the mounting putty. Now, I think I have a little bit of a longer spoon than yours. So depending on the length of spoon, uh, can depend how much also putty you need to hold it in place. Oh. Okay. So you want to do a little bit of an angle, though. If you can see, I sort of angled it forward. See how this yeah. one's falling? Okay. So I angled it forward. Okay. So like this. now we have the structure. That's the structure. So now we have the structure. So isn't that cool? Yeah. So then you want to take the rest of your putty oh. and then start wrapping it around. So I actually start with making a piece that I flatten out first to the shape of Whoop. the inside of the spoon. Okay? Oh. So okay. see that? Okay. Oh, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you have to play with it because yours fell over, but that's okay. That does happen in the making, and then you can adjust it, you know, as you go. Then I have a few more strips of the mounting putty. So what I'm going to do is take it and, wrap, and it around. wrap it around this part of the spoon. And is that see, how we get the flowers to stick? That is how we get the flowers to stick. So, so we're this just is sticking actually, it into you're the You're going to see how, yes, you're going to see how easy this really is. The can hardest show, part yeah. is making the structure. And then once you have the structure made. Can you show people at home how to stick the flowers in? Because I know we're running out of yes. time. Okay, so now we have the structure. And then we get to the fun part. So I have the little bag of um, faux flowers here. And what I did is I actually did an ombre, sort of a color blocking. So Ugh. what that means is I started here at the at the spoon part that's inside the cup, and I use my brightest flowers. Okay, I use the brightest pink flowers, and we're just wrapping that up. And then you stick them in. Do you see how easy it is just to push them in? So, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> very good. David, high and then you really just work your way down, and you can start 
getting uh, a little bit paler with the colors, you know, as you go. So Bravo. I didn't, I didn't finish, I, but I you get the, the ombre, idea because this <laughs> is the finished product. And this it is what really it looks is like. fantastic. Thank you so much, What's Sherry. What's your ideas? And you make it so much fun. Thank you oh, so much, Sherry. Sherry. All right, and don't forget to check out all the great inspiration from Sherry. We have a link to her pages on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com. I'm determined.